Hi guys, welcome to this week's Warlord Wednesday. Big news from Warlord this week is all the new Stalingrad range goes on pre-order. They're actually doing a Rattig Krieg, I think it's pronounced, set, which actually is actually for playing Firefight. So you get a handful of figures for each side, all the dice for each figure, some dice, pin markers, everything you need to play for 20 quid. That, that's not a bad idea. Then also they've got the massive Stalingrad battle set, which is 195 quid, but it's got loads of stuff in it. I mean, it's, yeah, I'll just read through the list of what's in it. You've got Ruined MDF Factory, uh, the Balamé Fountain, uh, five craters, uh, three barricades, three meters of barbed wire, uh, a Marder 3, a T-34-76, a Soviet sniper team. Got to be a sniper team in um, Stalingrad, hasn't there? 56 plastic Soviet infantry and 42 plastic German infantry. Really good set. And, uh, yeah, if you got the money and you've not got any figures... And you have to do a Russian army, or even if you have to do a German army, to a good place to start. I think that set was good. They're also doing Enemy at the Gates Stalingrad Collectors Edition. Now this is just amazing. Uh, it's £295, so it's a bit more money, but you get a lot more in it. So you get the ruined MDF factory, the Balmy Fountain, five craters, three barricades, three meters of barbed wire, the Marvel 3, the T-34-76, the sniper team, the 56 plastic Soviet, 42 German army. That's what you get in the normal battle set. But on top of that, you get this. You get an MDF factory office building, two sandbag emplacements, Panzer IV, a KV-1, KV-2, Soviet HQ, Soviet M MG team, Soviet mortar team, German HQ, German sniper team, German medium mortar team, German MMG team, another 56 plastic Soviets, and another 42 plastic German. That's a total of 276 infantry and four vehicles in this set. That is an amazing number figures in this set and it will probably take you 276 weeks to paint it all if you're interested go and have a look on the warlords website on the pre-orders so the pre-orders are for pre-order they're not released till april so if you order it bear in mind you're not going to get it till april if you order anything else with it that will be held till the set ready just bear that in mind okay guys so that's it for this week's releases from warlord I must admit, it's a big release week and uh, I'm chuffed with some of the stuff that's coming out. I'm excited about it. Don't know whether I'll be indulging because I've got so much stuff to do. We, we, we don't know. Anyway, let's go back to the table now and I'll have a look at my US that I've been doing. Okay, guys. So here's my 76mm Sherman. This is a Rubicon model. So quite a nice kit. It's slightly bigger than the uh, Warlord one. Got a little uh, head cutter on the front there. So this is done bar putting the decals on because I can't find them. I don't know where the hell I've put them. So at the moment this will stay like this. Uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do some more of my vehicles that way they'll all be painted the same the same way as such so there's me 76 mil so what I'll do for next week is I'll get me uh, M26 paging done so I'm quite pleased with the way this has turned out really
Hi right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what you see, there's new videos posted every Sunday and Wednesday. And if you want to support the channel, just hit the subscribe button. Or if you want to, you can support us on Patreon. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching and see us next week.